Hello everyone, it's week 17 of our CSA Shares. I am Stephanie, your CSA coach, and we are going to go over what we received this week in our shares. A couple of quick announcements. We have Art on the Farm on Thursday with Dakota. Um, she did an event last week for anyone that attended. Um, you made bookmarks, and then this week is plant-based watercolor painting. So it's from 5 to 6 p.m on Thursday at the farm. And then it, that will continue with a different activity each week um, or each Thursday of this month. Bulk sweet peppers are available. Um, I think it's a four pound bag. Yeah, four pound bags for $12 each. Um, they're available at the farm. You don't need to pre-order them. So when you go to pick up your CSA shares, you can grab extra sweet peppers if you want them. And then the third announcement is that there's a volunteer opportunity next Saturday, the 24th from 9 a.m. to noon in Ringlesville, and it's helping our farmers harvest potatoes. So if you're free that morning, um, weather dependent, stay tuned for, for details on that. Um, anyone that's available, the farmers could use a little extra help harvesting the potatoes. Okay, so jumping right into our shares this week, we head to you picks. This is the last, probably the last of our cherry tomatoes. So we got a pint of cherry tomatoes. Um, the fields are wet, at least today. I don't know what the, the weather for the rest of the week are or is. So just plan accordingly. I brought my rain boots and was in probably two inches of water in some of the fields. So just um, plan for that if you're going into the to the U-Pick fields. Our cherry tomatoes get stored on the counter. They're really good as snacks. They're really good in lunches, on salads. You can roast them. You can turn them into a sauce. You can throw them together with other tomatoes and make like a soup um, or just like a, a roasted vegetable um, platter with roasting these as well. So can be served raw, can be roasted, can be baked, um, but stored on the counter. Our other you pick are our shishitos. So we got to pick a quart of shishitos today. Um, these get stored in the fridge. So I just keep them right in this um, plastic container, put the cover on and store them in the fridge. If you're not gonna use them, cause we've been receiving shishitos for um, a few weeks now, you can freeze them. So you can chop them up and freeze them to be used in like stir fries or you can freeze them whole. There's lots of recipes on the blog for shishitos. Um, there's shishito peppers three ways and I know that's in our email um, we just like blistering them so do um, putting them in a pan on high heat you can also grill them so the weather is pretty nice today um, I don't know what the, I haven't paid attention so I don't know what the rest of the week is but they're really good grilled um, they're really good roasted you can throw them into stir fries um, or roasted sheet pan vegetables so lots of options there as well. But our favorite is just to blister them on high heat on the oven, in the oven, or on the stove top, and then serving them as a side. Okay, that's the only two you picks we had other than if you picked herbs. Um, so there's still some herbs out there in the um, herb gardens that you can grab. The rest of our share, you either received kale or collards. Um, they get stored in the fridge in a plastic bag. So this is where like if you have the Debbie Meyer green bags, the kale is enormous, it's huge. Um, so take a large Debbie Meyer green bag, put it over, the, or, sorry, not the kale, the collards. The kale is also very big. Um, put it in a plastic bag and put that in the fridge. The kale can be saut uh, used raw, it can be sauteed, it can be um, roasted. I like to use them sometimes for green cubes if I know I'm not going to use them throughout the week. So I um, blend them up and then freeze the cubes. Let me show you. So these are frozen green cubes. Um, and then I use them for smoothies. So if you know you're not going to use your greens, you can just blend them up and make some green cubes. And there is a PDF for that. So just go to our PD all our PDF forms. And there's a general PDF on how to make green cubes. Um, but kale is really good raw. It's really good sauteed. You can make kale chips. 
there's there's a recipe on the blog for kale chips um, this week's recipe will showcase a way to use our greens so stay tuned for that on Thursday collards are really good sauteed um, compare pair them with bacon is really good or because they're so hearty and um, can be used you can use them as a wrap so I like to just do take my big pot fill it with water um, turn that on boil it and then just blanch these take out the inner rib that intersection and then use them as a wrap there is a recipe on the blog for colored wraps but you can also just put whatever you want inside of them and use just that as the vessel all right so those are our colors we also received more basil. So basil likes to be at room temperature. So just take the rubber band off or leave it on. I like to take it off because I like to just be able to pull a strip of basil out. Fill it with water and then leave it on the counter. Basil is really good for pestos. It's really good for salad dressings, add to sauces. Um, I still had basil left over from last week. So I decided to make basil infused olive oil. So I took all of that basil and threw it in a glass jar and then covered it in olive oil. And I'm gonna let this sit for a while just to get a good, nice flavor on that. I'm thinking it would make really good Christmas gifts along with some roasted red peppers, which we purchased some extra peppers this week that we're gonna roast. So another option if you have a lot of basil left over. And that, that basil olive oil would be good just to drizzle on bread or dip bread in would be good to drizzle over roasted veggies, um, use in salad dressings, so lots of options for that as well. It's just a flavored olive oil. We did receive tomatoes, so these are salad tomatoes. They're so cute. They stay on the counter. They do not go in the fridge. You can use them in salads. You can use them just cut up and do like tomatoes and onions and basil would be a great salad. Um, ate them raw, sliced or you can cook them for sauces or for um, like soups or add them to roasted vegetables. So those are our salad tomatoes. We have sweet peppers. So these are the ones that you can purchase in bulk as well. Sweet peppers get stored in the fridge in the crisper drawer or in a plastic um, bag. These are great just to snack on, great after school snack. So wash them up, slice them, throw them on the table just in a bowl and um, the kids might munch on them when they get home. Really good for sheet pan meals. So you can just chop them up and do like a big roasted, roasted vegetable platter. Um, or you can do like this with the onions and some chicken and do like a fajita, a sheet pan fajita meal. But those get stored in the fridge. We have eggplant. Eggplant gets stored in the fridge and it's best if you wrap it in either a paper towel or a um, cloth towel to keep the moisture away from it. Eggplant is really good roasted. It's excellent grilled. You can fry it. Um, I've been using my air fryer to fry it so that it's a healthier version of frying the eggplant. If you fry it and you are not using it right away, you can actually um, freeze those fried eggplant um, slices. So that's an option in preserving as well. And then you can take that out, heat it up, make like an eggplant parm. So that's eggplant stored in the fridge with either a paper towel or something around it so that it absorbs the moisture. We got to pick hot peppers, four hot peppers. So there were jalapenos, long hots, poblanos, cherry bombs, and banana peppers. You could pick four of those. Hot peppers get stored in the fridge, just like all of our other peppers in the crisper drawer or in a plastic bag, and we use them to add heat to any dish. There are some recipes on the blog that use hot peppers. There's a hot pepper honey. Um, there's any of our salsas have hot peppers in them. You can freeze them. So if you have a lot and you haven't been using them the past few weeks, chop them up or freeze them whole. But I like to chop them up, put them in a plastic bag and label how many I've just chopped up in that bag. And then I use them throughout the winter to add spice to dish, to dishes. We received yellow onions. So yellow onions get stored in a cool dry place away from potatoes. Great for roasted vegetables, 
great for our salsas. Um, really good if you're sauteing your greens. So if you've got collards or kale, add some yellow onion to it. You can definitely caramelize these. So our caramelized onion dressing called for sweet onions, but you can switch it out and use a yellow onion as well. Um, but they get stored in a cool, dry place. Same thing with garlic, cool, dry place. Um, I use garlic for everything. I think I say that every week. Um, I love garlic. You can roast it. You can use it in salad dressings. Um, and I use it in just about everything that I saute or put um, in a big sheet pan meal. So that's garlic. We got green peppers. Green peppers get stored in the fridge in, a crisp, in the crisper drawer or in a plastic bag. Same thing as our sweet peppers. They're obviously just not as sweet, um, but they can be used raw. You can put them on salads. You can um, roast them. You can grill them. You can do sheet pan meals, do a big thing of roasted vegetables. We have a lot of vegetables that would work for that. Um, you can also stuff any of these. So you can do a stuffed green pepper or stuffed sweet pepper. Store it in the crisper drawer. We have spaghetti squash. So we got this last, few, last week stored in a cool dry place. This will last for probably two months. Um, you can slice it into rounds, which is a pain to cut because it's really hard. But once you do that and remove the seeds, those rounds are really easy to roast. And then um, you have nice spaghetti squash. That recipe is on the blog. Or you can slice it in half, just pull out the seeds and roast it that way. Or there's recipes for roasting it whole. Um, and I know there's, um, I'm pretty sure there's recipes online for roasting this in um, the Instapot, which I've never tried, but you could surely try it. So that's, it's great just as a side once it's cooked or as a substitute for like spaghetti. So if you're making a sauce or like a big roasted vegetables that you want something um, to put it on, then you could do your spaghetti squash. All right, last but not least are our purple potatoes. These get stored in a cool, dry place away from our onions. So these are good roasted. They're good boiled and used in a potato salad. They um, can be used for mashed potatoes. You can use them, you can shred them and use them in like a um, breakfast potato. You can slice them and I know there's recipes for sliced potatoes and veggies. Um, they're, I'm pretty sure there's a, a potato crusted quiche on the blog. So those are options also, but stored in a cool dry place. That is it for this week. If you still have vegetables from last week, focus on using those. Um, if you have any trouble, you're stuck on things that you just aren't sure how to use or you're looking for something different, just tag me on Facebook and I will help. Um, make sure you're using our Facebook group. There's a lot of recipes posted and things that our people are doing with their produce throughout the week that's helpful and gives us different ideas. But use that and then stay tuned for the end of the week and we will be introducing a new challenge coming up. But otherwise, I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks.